What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today I wanted to talk about healers. Now the reason why, I know that 99% of players are just going for DPS teams, they're just gonna go for whatever team they want that has DPS, and that's just what it's gonna be, and that's fine. But I know there are a very, very small amount of people, select few, that actually genuinely want to just main healers. They wanna play healers, that's what they wanna play in the early game, mid game, late game. They wanna be a healing person. So this video is for you guys. Now my next video will be over tanks. For anybody that wants to just, they just wanna be a tank, a tank player. They wanna be the upfront damage mitigation for the team. I'll have that video for the next video. Um, but anyways, this video is for the healers. For, so for anybody that wants to purely be a healer, I got you. Um, for any, so if you guys don't know, uh, as far as healers go, you don't need resonance. So you don't got to worry about getting the, any other resonance character. Now, listen, this video is not me telling you not to summon on certain characters. Go for whoever you want. But if, but like, I'm just telling you how to build the perfect heal comp or a good heal comp. There you go. Anyways, um, as a healer, you don't need to go for resonance. The reason why is because resonance gives attack percent to the element and it gives attack resistance to the element or the resistance to the element as well so uh if you look like right here both attack by 15 percent and then volt resist so as far as healers go you don't need resonance now i'm not saying don't get resonance but if you want to be a full pure healer you don't need resonance the second thing you want to at all cost right very bare minimum have two healers on the team and the reason why is because you want the healer passive the healer passive is going to be giving you a hundred percent increased healing and whenever you're in team stuff whether you know whatever it is whether it's raids or joint ops or whatever you get an additional a hundred percent healing so um basically you want to have minimum two healers on the team at all times no matter what now going over some of the team comps that you guys want to be looking to build as far as the future and things like that number one one of the best healers to have right now is coco coco is probably the best healer in the game right now for global i know nemesis heals i know zero heals i know pepper heals but they do not out heal coco especially when we get into her dupes um her skill whenever you pop her skill she will you know create the healing zone and you know on her and it will just heal nearby allies for you know certain amount of numbers blah 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 i'm not going to get into the down to the percentages and things but she heals right now it's on a 60 second cooldown but that's fine because once you get to her c1 every time she dashes or not every time but when she dashes she'll get like a healing drone that'll heal the lowest hp target within 15 meters and this is on a 25 second cooldown which is going to be really really good and then the the more dupes you get you know three star and then five star and then six star she's just it's just going to allow her to heal more and more and more so um for all healing teams for anyone that wants to be a healer coco is basically a must-have pretty much if you, she's basically a must-have now after that as far as right now you can't make that many healing teams the next character i want to talk about is nemesis uh, nemesis is obviously a healer and if you do have nemesis you would put her on the team and the reason why is because she is a healer that does damage or you could say she's a damage dealer that heals but in either scenario she is really really good for the healing team if you already have her now i know her banner's not out right now but you know uh if you do have her you want to use her for the healing team uh but if you don't have her all's not lost you you can still make up for it now, before we continue, uh, I know that, like I said, Nemesis is a really good healer. If you do have Nemesis and you have her on the team, you might want to opt to put Pepper on your team as well. And the reason why is because not only is she a healer, but she has the Volt Resonance, or she has Volt as her element. So she will give Nemesis the Volt Resonance. Now, I know I said that you don't need Volt Resonance, and that is true. But if you are going for a full healer team with Nemesis who does damage, you may as well get the you know get as much damage with nemesis as possible so you want to opt for pepper the other reason why you would go for coco nemesis pepper is because zero who is in the healer class is not going to be healing until you get his c1 and the thing about his c1 is that he you basically want him to be on the field to 
do the healing because you need to hit enemies so it drops orbs and then your teammates can pick up the orbs so if you have nemesis you probably you don't need to use zero and if you have zero that means that you don't have nemesis so the starting healer team right now would be coco ritter nemesis pepper or coco ritter zero pepper and with zero like i said he's not really going to be healing unless you have um you know the c1 and above now like i said if you, let's say you only want to run two healers if you don't have his c1 you can go with coco pepper and then go with a third unit whether it's a dps or a tank or whatever else you want it to be that's going to be a very good early game team for you um and then like if you do have nemesis and you only want to you can go coco nemesis or you can go nemesis pepper if your dps is not going to be volk but if it is right you can go coco nemesis and like crow or coco nemesis samir whatever the case may be but those are gonna be the combination of teams right now now there are two more units i want to talk about as far as what you should be looking at you know into the future number one is going to be lyra and the reason why is lyra is number one she's a healer so she fits into the heal team number two she's a damage dealer so she fits into so she can be your damage dealer for your team because coco won't do damage zero won't do damages uh, nemesis can do damage but um it's just more damage i guess you know if you're running both of them and then pepper doesn't do damage so not only that but on top of that her shatter is really good if you look at all the other healers none of them have any good shatter none of them right so the fact that lyra has shatter and she has healing and she's a healer makes her a very limited resource for the healing team so basically later on in the game you want to probably be running like coco lyra nemesis and that's i mean obviously if you have nemesis if you have lyra if you don't have nemesis right i still think as a healer you want to get lyra for sure because coco lyra alone is going to be a very very insane team and then you got to realize lyra has physical resonance so you can also run her with a physical unit if you wanted to you don't have to you can so um these are going to be the units that you are looking to get in my opinion and then uh the other unit that i wanted to talk about is lynn and the reason why i want to talk about lynn is because number one she is aberration meaning she's her own element she doesn't need any other elements or anything like that she has increased shatter and charge and if you guys have not read her skill it doesn't matter if she has well let me, yeah it doesn't matter if she has two flame weapons two volt weapons two frost two physical or she has two different weapons she will still be giving a type of boost so let's say you're running coco nemesis and then lynn she will still be giving a boost with the two different elements so generally speaking uh late game or later on you can run coco nemesis lyra or you can run coco lyra or nemesis and then lynn that's generally going to be the late game team comps that you guys want to go for so as far as being a healer this is what you're going to be wanting to generally go for as far as um you know team comps and things like that uh i know a lot i, I talked about this in my gear guide but if you are a healer and you're looking if you're trying to build healer gear right now the main stats you want right now is going to primarily be attack because all the healers scale off of attack if you look at their skills you'll notice um 95 of attack whether it's zero 60 percent of attack nemesis percent of attack they're all going to be scaling off of attack so you want to get attack you want to get hp you want to get resistance and you want to get crit and the reason why is because your heals can crit if you guys didn't know that right so attack right and, and it says it up here attack resistance hp zeros attack resistance hp a nemesis is um attack health crit so those are the four stats you're looking for so in a perfect universe you'd have attack hp crit and resistance so that is pretty much it you don't care about elemental attack because your your healing doesn't scale off of elemental attack it scales off of just regular attack so as far as healers if you if this is really what you guys want to do um this is the things you want to be looking for and want to be making your way towards so anyways that is going to be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys think in the comment section below with that being said i will see you guys next time peace